We are finally completing my Renaissance Fairy costume. If you haven't seen the rest of the costume with like the actual clothes and stuff, you should go check out those videos. But this week I'm gonna be making the fairy wings and the flower crown. And I'm really excited to try these fairy wings. I've never made fairy wings in this style before. I've made them in like, I don't know if anyone ever saw the Emily Autumn fairy wing tutorial where she like stretches pantyhose over a coat hanger. I think that was just kind of the popular way to do it for a while, but I've made those kinds of fairy wings before, but they obviously look like pantyhose stretch over a clothes hanger. This time I'm gonna be making fairy wings inspired by Fancy Fairy Angela and using her tutorial and she's got her own full tutorial on YouTube. So I won't be going super into like every single step by step, because you could just get it from her video, but I will be showing how I make it and like any adjustments that I make. Her style is made with iridescent cellophane and like iron on heat vinyl or something. And I think the result is a little bit more like insect-like and it looks more ethereal, I guess. So I'm really excited to try those out. The process for making them looks a lot more complex than making the like pantyhose over a clothes hanger style. So we'll see how that goes. And then the flower crown is just gonna be a really basic flower crown. I think that I'm gonna maybe add some beads and stuff and like rhinestones maybe, but it'll be kind of the same wire base that I used for my Alice headband and I'll be sewing flowers to it and then like adding some extra embellishments. So that should be pretty straightforward. The flower crown is kind of going to be inspired by the clamp style of hat. Um, I think this was popular in like the 50s or something. Uh, don't quote me on that. I'm not like 100% certain and I don't know much about it. But from our millinery class, we talked about a lot of different styles of headwear. And the clamp hat was one that just like, it's literally like a wire that clamps on your head. Like a wire form that just clamps onto your head and you don't need like a comb or pins or anything. So I thought that would be really interesting and fun to like try out myself. And you know, if it like doesn't stay on my head, I can always bobby pin it into place. So either way, it'll work out. <laughs> There's no patterns this time because it's not a sewing video. This is just like um, making some things. I thought of purchasing SVG files for my Cricut for the wing veins, but I think that I'm just gonna make my own because I don't know, I want a specific look and I haven't found any while I'm looking that really suit the style that I want. Fancy Fairy Angela does have a pair of Luna Moth wings available for her patrons, which I also want to make in the future if this goes well. But for this time, because I'm going to be going to the Renaissance Festival, it's going to be pretty crowded. It is all outside, so don't worry as far as that. Um, I think it should be fairly safe because everything is outside. However, I don't want to run into people. I don't want to smack people in the face. I don't want to go into shops and like cause any damage because my wings are too big and because I can't keep track of them. And like using the bathroom needs to be as simple as possible regarding anything on my body. So <laughs> I want to make them kind of like a medium small size or like I don't know, just a medium size. I do want to make some giant wings eventually, but like I think medium size is good for now and also that's what will fit on my Cricut, so we're just gonna work within our limitations. I think that's pretty much it, so let's just get on with it. Hello, are you gonna help mom out today? You make some fairy wings? Nope. What if I made you a pair of tiny fairy wings? Would you wear them? Would you wear them for me? Be a little fair cat? No, she says no, definitely not. <laughs> what are you doing over there? Hello? Mostly what is necessary for making a flower crown. Uh, I've got some millinery wire, got my wire joiners here. Uh, those go on the end and then you clamp them down. I've got some gold sparkly ribbon so that I can cover the wire once I've got my frame all done. I've got various beads and rhinestones here and then i've got all of my flowers so i probably won't be using the sunflowers because i'm going for more of a red look but these pomegranate things might be cool and these little orange flowers up here these are a little more christmassy but i've got some red dahlias down here so those might be useful so i just generally collect flowers whenever they're on sale at fabric stores or craft stores and then i just pick and choose for my costumes. I find that it's much more cost effective than buying flowers specifically when I need them for a project. So <laughs> that's just what I tend to do. And then also like it's nice decoration for my room. So that's nice. Cool. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to have to do is make this into something that can go on my head. So let's do that first. Hello. Oh. 
baby bat. Okay, so I'm trying to figure out my wing shape right now. I had it drawn super, super big. If you can see right here. I think for the actual wings, I'm gonna make them pretty small because I don't wanna like bump into people and knock stuff over in shops. I wanna be able to like have a full Renaissance festival experience where I can go into shops and don't have to like struggle not to hit people in the face. Like just generally, I want them to be unobtrusive while still being cute. So I'm gonna make them kind of small, but I still need to come up with a design. So that's what I'm going to try to come up with a few designs now and see which one I like the most. Uh, yeah, so let's do that. Okay, this is the one I like the most. The rest are kind of garbage, so we're gonna go with this one. So now I need to draw this on my iPad and make an SVG file out of it so I can transfer it to my Cricut to cut. Yay! Okay, after a whole lot of troubleshooting, I finally got this to work. I took my designs into Photoshop after I did them in Procreate, and I sized them by making the canvas 11 by 17, and that's just because that's the size of paper I have, that's the widest I can go, and then I just kind of fussed with it until I could make the wings as big as possible within that 11 by 17 inch frame. I did that with all of the pieces and then I took them from their individual files and put them into a big file to see how I wanted the sizing to go. Actually, now that I'm looking at this, I think I might want the bottom wing a little bit bigger, so I'm gonna change that really quick. And I'll just do that by selecting the layer. It seems really silly to just film this, but <laughs> I'm just selecting the layer that this bottom wing is on. I'm doing control T for free transform and then I'll just make that a little bit bigger like that. 
and I think that looks pretty good. Or maybe it needs to be overlapped a little bit more. You can just kind of mess with it in Photoshop until you get the look right. And then it'll also give you an idea of how you put them together once they're actually like cut out and have the film on them. Now I am still on the one layer of this bottom wing, so I'm not selecting either of these two top pieces. I'm gonna control C. Okay, so I'm gonna delete the layer with the bottom wing and then I'm gonna paste the new size of it. Stick that up there. Move this one over. There you go. So now this is a cuttable file or rather it's a I'm gonna save it as a PNG and it'll be cuttable in this kind of format. I'm able to fit two wing pieces on one piece of paper so that's good that'll save me some paper and then I have to merge these two layers and then I can save it as PNG. Then I can put everything into the design space so let me do that really quick and I'll get back. So I cut one of my like main wing pieces out already and I need I think two, I don't know if I need two layers of each or one layer of each, but I need at least two sides. So I need to cut at least one more. So I'm gonna prep the paper for that and start cutting that. I don't know if they've updated the Cricut Design Space recently, but there's no option for Bristol board anymore. So I've set it to heavy cardstock and I've set the pressure to more. I always set the pressure to more because I'd rather cut a little too deep into the mat than not cut all the way and all my tools are loaded because I already did this. So I'm gonna just load the paper and we can get started.
So I'm not gonna do a full reveal for this video because it's just wings and a headdress and next video will be my Ren Faire vlog so you guys will see the whole outfit together. But I think it turned out really well. The headdress went really smoothly. I didn't put quite as much stuff on it as I had originally planned on doing because I decided that with all of the really bright red colors that adding a lot more stuff would have been a little bit too distracting. So I'm really happy that I left it a little bit simple. I added a little bit of like bead cording around the like sides of the head um, and I think that looks really nice and makes it just more than just a flower crown but only by a little bit so it still looks pretty natural. The wings, this was not my first time making wings ever but it was my first time making this kind of wing when i was in college i made the kind of wings that you do with like pantyhose and like coat hangers and stuff and those are really cute but they're kind of heavy looking i liked these that they were so light and like honestly like they don't feel like anything when i put them on so that's really cool and i do like the iridescence at first i didn't really like how the iridescence looked it felt really green for the outfit that i'm making but once I painted it all with the alcohol paint and made it really red, then I think the green just kind of makes it look insect-like, which I think is a really cool effect. The only issues I really had, first off, I thought I was being smart by making the wireframes uh, like already connected in the U. If you look at Fancy Fairy Angela's tutorial, she says to do each wing separate. And I was like, oh, well that'll just add a lot of unnecessary bulk in the middle where all those wire ends meet. Turns out it's just easier to cover them in the film and like the vinyl and everything if they are separate rather than having to try to like do one side of the wing and cut that out of the film and then move it all over and like it was just a huge pain it's worth it i think to do them separately and it probably won't add that much bulk and where it does add bulk is going to be hidden by the corset anyways or like whatever you're putting it into so i would say do it separately it's a lot easier to do it that way than make it the u-frame from the get-go the other thing is that i thought the wire that i was using was going to be totally fine it ended up being a little bit flimsier than i wanted in her video tutorial she uses a really thick wire but then she says in the instructions that that is too thick that she recommends something else i already had wire that i thought was the right thickness and right gauge and I think maybe it was the right thickness, but it was not stiff enough. So it's like mostly fine, it'll stay up, but like it does flop around a little bit. So I think in the future, I'm gonna use something a little bit stiffer. Maybe see if I can find specifically what she recommended because I did just kind of use something that I had in my stash. If that doesn't work next time, then I'm just gonna use a thicker wire and just suffer. The other thing is that when Fancy Fairy Angela makes, can I just call her Angela? I'm just gonna call her Angela. When Angela makes her wings, professionally like when she makes them to sell she has wire frames cut out of aluminum i believe and she has them cut by an industrial water jet so she sends out the design and has them cut i think that would be a really cool thing to look into i'm sure it's very expensive and probably not really <laughs> attainable by someone who's just doing it as a craft hobby but i it is something that i want to explore in the future and i want to see if maybe that's something that i can do because i do think that it would help a lot with like the stiffness and like not having everything kind of flop in on itself. It also looks like it makes covering it so much easier because like covering the wire frames laid onto the Bristol was really annoying. I had to tape everything down as I was rolling it and then untape it before it like got caught in between the layers of film. So having a full metal frame rather than having the wire and the Bristol I think would really make it a lot easier to roll everything out. Aside from all of the shortcomings, I think that this was a really good method for making homemade fairy wings and I think that it turned out really well. I was not expecting the paint to look as good as it did, but it turned out pretty solid and like it was not as patchy as I thought it was. In her tutorial she does only paint one side of the vinyl and I ended up painting the side that she did and then also painting the other side because I didn't like how the white bristol board looked as veins. I don't know, maybe you could cover it in gold foiling or something if you're going really extra, but I think that doing paint on two layers of the vinyl really helped make it more opaque. Not opaque, it made it more consistent and less modeled looking. I think that's everything that I wanted to talk about. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it and I hope you're excited to see my Renaissance Fair vlog next week because I'm super excited to go to the Renaissance Fair. <laughs> if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you are interested in making your own fair, mm, the cats are doing something, hello. If you're interested in making your own fairy wings, if you have questions that her tutorial like 
wasn't clear about or if you just like want to ask me questions please feel free to do so are you guys also into the renaissance festival are you into making your own costumes i think next year we might make a pirate costume or an elf costume i'm not sure so let me know which one you would rather see and that's that's pretty much all i got for you if you want to see the reveal and my run fest vlog next week then please subscribe and if you want to see my next project it's gonna be a very big one <laughs> then also subscribe and i hope to see you guys in the next video okay bye